<laughs> it's so loud. Oh, the harmonicas. Go into town. Oh, let's say... Twenty-two. It might be fine. The music's a little loud, but that might be fine. It might calm down. Hello, Gold. Oh, it's still not fucking playing. Games. Jesus Christ. Hey, Trice, oh, we did it. It's too big. It's too big. Yeah. You know, I'm not that surprised that the Vita game getting ported is uh, not great at alt tabbing. This weirdly enough checks out with expectations. Just be cool. Right, stretchy there, smally there. And we might one day have a video game on our hands. I think we did it. I think, I think everything is there. The most yellow screen you've ever seen. P4G. The Golden Persona. Also, yes, Mug, <laughs> we were trying for a long time. That we are both very happy about it. I've never played P4G. Played go regular four. It's clearly a golden screen, my bad. I can connect to the internet? Tell me more. The Vox Pupu feature allows you to see what decisions other players have made at various points in the game. No. The rescue request function allows other players to help you when you're in a pinch, also no. These features are not available at the very beginning, they will be unlocked as the story progresses. Do you hate yourself? P4G was your first Persona game. It's a good one to start on. I like most people started with 4, then went back to 3, before 5 existed. Are you supremely self-confident? Oh, both of these are true. Difficulty requires a strength of heart that never gives in. Severe gameplay. Hey RPG, how you going, dude? Yeah. Last giant one. Exactly. I still think I pick hard. I don't know if they changed anything between versions to not make it just a grind fest. Thanks, worse. Because people. I mean, I'm fuck it. I look it up. I don't care. What is the difference? Because P4 regular, very hard, was literally just... Would you like to grind? Difficulties... Differences. Thank you, internet. 2013. Game's fucking old. Becky is pregnant. 16 weeks. I managed to correctly have sex with my wife. Uh, let's see. The amount of damage you take is increased. Uh -huh. 
The damage you do is decreased. Experience of money you earn is lower. You get 0.4 times as much. And you have a low to save if you die. Do we have to do that anyway? <laughs> Streamlabs broken? No, why is there no obnoxious music playing? There we go. <laughs> Much better. I'll have to make a different obnoxious gifting thing just for you, Rage, because you've been so generous so many times. How could you not enjoy them dancing on a boat, though? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, Rage. Really appreciate it, dude. Uh, if you die, you load instead of going back to the floor you were on, and you get 0. 0.4 experience. So, yeah, not going to do very hard. I'm good. I get enough less experience. I don't need help. But yeah, Becky and I are both very excited about it. It was weird during Plat Catherine when all the pregnancy stuff came up. It's like, mm. welcome to the Velvet Room. I have a very <laughs> distinct reason to feel certain ways about this. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> we know how the volume is. Also, I don't know how I feel about uprezzed Igor. Oh, some very much staring into my soul. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Might be fine. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who Under what are bound conditions? by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. The voice volume goes all the way up to me. I guess I should make it a little lower. Uh, I should probably do this as well. Oh, you piece of shit. The game broke live split. I have to fix that too. Whatever, I'll fix it next time. Can't be asked. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? There is no part of me that can remember what the hell our name was in P4. I know it's McNeil. All P4 Pro Tags are McNeils, I know that much. Somebody exclamation mark quote me. Which McNeil are we today? <laughs> yes, but death was five. Yeah, Penny is three. Gonna need another quote. Speedrun McNeil doesn't fit. What a shame. What a shame. 
Although, yeah, exclamation mark, McNeil is a pretty funny one to me. You know what? Exclamation mark's here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it does. That looked like less. Don't want to, though. Yeah. Take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? No. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always. Yeah, time and broker with the game, so. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I'll fix it in post. Are you all right, Margo? How have you managed to do the immediate this? Future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Oh, so did I fix the voice volume? The card indicating the future beyond We're not fighting is... as much? The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery very interesting indeed it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination and a great mystery will be imposed upon you i always knew you had to take a bump margo in the coming days you will enter into a contract of some sort after which you will return here <laughs> Yeah, the dude just like, you know what we need to let people have in tarot bangs? Very important for naming themselves. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I could definitely guess that some of the cases where they did My that duty was from them importing Japanese guests, games back in the day, does not, not having any idea what their character name was and the symbols just being nonsense, and being like, yeah, no, we need more of that. We need nonsense symbol names. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Is there an auto button? My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Doesn't look like an auto button. Attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. That's fair. To some reason, for some reason, a star is more reasonable to me than a question mark. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. Huh? Golden has extra anime in it. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? I don't know if I realized how tall P4 Protag well, is. Sure that you all know already. That every Protag is a giant. will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Terminal in a few minutes. 
passengers headed for Inaba City. And I hate that this is canonical name. Please go to the other side of the platform. I don't know if they did it intentionally. Or not, but I despise the fact that his name is you. What's the character you play as? You. Hate it. Oh, should we go soon? Yes. <laughs> they did, yeah. I'd believe you. I have to give a lot of thought, Smurf, whether to put a star or a question mark into my kid's name now. It's gotta be one or the other. Real coin flip. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. He looks weird without glasses. <laughs> gotta get it from a quote. Uh, I didn't let Becky know that yet. Hey, over here. Well, and they got all the voice actors back for this, right? Than in your photo. That's why, like, Rize and Chie Welcome sound different. Inba. I mean, I'm there's Riotaro more dialogue. Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> You're gonna need to turn on auto in the menus. It's <laughs> a lot of main what are you cast. So shy for? Ow! <laughs> well then. Hey, Janae, going to get going. My car's over there. Oh, new things. Hey. Unfriendly looking girl. Pathos filled teenager. This. She looks weird without a hat. I can see why she wears it. No, it's yours. I saw you drop it. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. It seems you did drop it. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. Goodbye, unfriendly girl. Or I'll never see her again. You get in the car and head for Dejima's house. Oh, hey, her. The thing that's different. I have actually legit no idea what is different in Golden. I know that Marie exists. I don't know the role she plays. I don't know if she's a teammate. Despite seeing her in three other games at this point. Hi, welcome to more. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? I know there's extra dungeons. Uh -huh. And I know they nerf the Yukiko and left. Kanji because that's you know which reasonable. Way is left? <laughs> the side you don't hold your chopsticks in. They are both very fucked up in regular. Especially Yukiko. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city? Fill up my car. You know, Japan's right. big Regular's city. Fine. All one of them. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. The, a gas station is a terrible Are place you for in a high smoke. School? Please, Dejima. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Thank you for the heads up. It's weird they put this line in 4 and not 3. It's like they knew that 4 was going to blow up a little bit. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. In regular 4, you can never work in the gas station. Despite the part-time job being open. Oh, 
I should get back to work. Natnika is looking for you. Yeah, they don't paint pumpkin okay? gas for in New Japan. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentioned it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Yeah, it sounds about right, Jen. What is uh yeah gonna be like this time? Hiding his feelings? Never. Which one of these is confidence and needing of food? Eh. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. This is... new? The shopping district is the, near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. The fact that I even drove my car here is kind of ridiculous. Setting. Oh, we'll see if borderless works. So I can actually... Alt tab it all. Uh, I don't seem to have broken anything. And oh, I can use my mouse now. Okay. Step one fixed. Step two. Yes. Really wish that I could change this so I can talk shit in between, but whatever. Subtitles also yes. Ah, uh, I guess we can do network function. I mean, yeah. As long as it just doesn't blurt out the answer to quizzes, it's really all I care about. You misspelled quote. At some point, this just feels intentional, Jen. so fast. This feels so smooth compared to P4. I wonder if when I swing my golf club it still sucks balls. Next bus isn't gonna come for a while and if you miss one bus you're pretty screwed. If only had a motorbike I could go anywhere I wanted anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe we ought to buy one myself. Am I gonna get a motorbike? That seems very foreshadowy. I mean, at this point, I just want Marie to get a hat. Fuck, she looks so weird. It's like Tay got shrunk. <laughs> it's okay, Jin. The girl is thinking to herself. You have something to do in the shopping district, it's a bit run down, we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. Hey sir, how you If any Juness hadn't come into town, it's convenient, but it's a little sad. That's kind of how I feel about your skin. A fierce looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. I mean, ideally, yeah, but it broke. I guess since I uh, can actually alt-tab now, I can try and fix that. We can do round two of the timer. It's a game just says heartbeat over and over again. Did my save say 20 minutes?
Damn you, why does auto, why does live split not come up when I type into Windows? Sounds nice, Surf. Where do you go to look at solely wolves and foxes and not other animals? Yeah, spending your day with Yusuke wouldn't be that bad. Yusuke at his... Uh, not even best. Medium is fine. It's just Yusuke at, his wor Yusuke at his worst. That sucks. And that he has a name very similar to Yusuke. Right, there we go. I fixed it. Hooray. It wouldn't be my brains. Oh, she's alive! Fair enough. Pretty sure we have socialized wolves and it's called a dog, but... It still seems neat. Wolves are fucking big. It wasn't leftovers, I'm making sure to save it for later. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. Luckily, that won't happen for much longer. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Good enough, but also annoying. the purpose of letting me do this? Just letting me see, like, three people and hint that I might get a motorbike? Okay. It let me know that I might be able to swing a fucking golf club to save my life for once. Press the backlog button. Get the back. There's a lot of ways that you could easily make Yosuke more interesting, but eh. I just wanted you to have a basic bitch best friend. And plus we have Kanji here to be the best anyway. All right, let's have a talk. Oh, you've got Kanji and Naoto in your game. The rest of the characters kind of don't matter. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. I personally hate so it here. Nice having someone like God, get me out. So long Can as I live in your here, parents' house while they're gone? The family. So make yourself at home. I will do that, my friend. Good. Everyone would like a friend like well, Chie. Anyway. How many friends do you have that can kick a tank? Ugh. Oh. Who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Oh, man, Same. they have a chance to fix the end of Peace so Force. It's it? not just uh -huh. melancholy with me going All into right, the I'm distance on the way. train. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. For Sorry, once. but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? So do you see Sushi seems to be the only fake one? All right. Well, I'm off. Both Nanako and I clearly have some kind of 3D-ness to him. His is definitely a picture. Yeah, 100%. hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Yeah, it really says a lot about uh, Dojima as a parent. 
that this tiny child has to raise herself. Uh, I'm not going to make her feel bad about it, though. It's just chat. He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Oh, so he's a pervert. My dad's a detective. Oh, misread that. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with oh, Mr. Oh, I don't know. Tommy I think she might show up on the news quite a bit to come up. off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Hell yeah, Nanako. What's the news? Every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Junas. Every day is great at your Junas. Oh, the game still works. Are they didn't ruin it. Eat? All the parts of the matter are here. You can save in the calendar. And I can eat off food in the fridge. Hell yeah, eat it. Making myself at home. Aw, oh, man. Oh, by the way, I do want to get told anything that I need to do for a true ending. Uh, I assume... Social link stuff? Yeah, when it's relevant. Quiz! Let me do the quiz! Maria. Okie dokie. Would have done that anyway. Yeah, just assume that any new social links that are here, I'm going to do them. A dead, a, a catchy and Marie. Okie dokie. See why. Now I have to unpack so I can hang out with Sajiro tomorrow. You'll be living in this town for a year, starting today. A year, ten days. Yeah. Well, I have to bake a cake later. So, it won't be the longest first stream of P4. That'll be tomorrow. That's true. But I also don't have a pet cat to talk with me at all times. You know, give and take. I do not remember the run speed in P4, but I am hooning it. So fast. It feels a lot better than four does, smooth wise. Pay that much. Remember these hitting? This is different. That, that is interesting information to me as well. That was all misses. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Oh, maybe I was just thinking of this part. They unlock the frame rate. I assume I'm at 60. I have no idea what it's running at. Uh, yeah. 
Solid 60. Breakfast. I get to start school today. Oh boy. Good morning. That egg is giant. The okay, hell can an ostrich did Nanako hunt down? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Can't cook just means won't cook. You decide to head to school with her. Leaving your freshly made food on the table like a episode of Gilmore Girls. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. She really is just like a, a parent leading me by the hand. Like, well, I didn't need to come this way. I did this for your sake. Goodbye. Glory. Yeah, I watched way too much of it with Becky. It is mostly fine. Did not like the 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 regathering one. Like 2019 or whatever. They made a new season. Like, oh good, everyone's kind of sad. Sick. I don't know, reboot, it's just continuation with that many years passing. Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, alright. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a while. Oh, that's year. um. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in Punch this class. Boy from three. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student? From the mama's the and grandma? Just the like old lady? You, huh, Yosuke? Or mama's huh? and main character? Dead today. Yeah. The uh, Gilmore girl. I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean it's really making me appreciate what strikers like looks like. Baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time. But I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere. Why do I even a like sad sack? I didn't do garbage. nothing. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. <laughs> Fight me. What's that look you're King giving Moron? that girl back there by the It's a very window. subtle nickname. You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes <laughs> in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting Don't bring all your big city perversion over here. Alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like My the snow old like days. lady children. Even here kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. First step, life journal. Excuse Next step, blowjobs. Everyone knows. For students, it's here. Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. I hadn't really thought about this this far. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just no, have no, to I'm with you there for a year. You need people around you talking about you Sucks and your tremendous height. Student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. 
Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. In some ways, he's a great teacher to have when I first moved in, because it really just binds the class together. It takes the heat off me. They immediately feel sorry for my existence. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty them, office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Yeah, your town's like three streets. Every siren sound close. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. You know, blackhead girl, the most distinguishing feature for a oh, Japanese sheesh. lady. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw. That's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents Yay, and guardians Snow as Day. soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do you not disturb great. the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat... Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh, fuck you, new guy. Something else happened. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Now, if he's going to contact his guardian, he has to go to the preschool and pick up Nanako. Knock knock, Nanako, my teacher told me to come find you. Take care of me, I'm scared. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Why do people hate this voice of Chie? This sounds the same. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Should he go wanged in the balls twice today? So they spread it out more. It's really front loaded. Oh, my trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You ditch him and go home. You're Yuki, right? You wanna go hang out somewhere? 
Even what? creepier in HD. Who, who are you? He looks more like a puppet What's up man. With him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? <laughs> Smooth. I, I'm not going. Fine. Smooth moves. And into what, fine and running away. Me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You like really that? had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yeah, what kind of idiot uses Yo, nicknames for people they've never met? Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Bunch of bullies. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. Is Yukiko's top made of wool? Wait, what? The newest information that I've got, it's like woven. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. I think it's made of wool. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something uh, from Mount Yasugami. The graphics. I think our dyed clothes are pottery or something that's kind of famous. <laughs> Oh, wait! This is and modern video Inaba games. Yen. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of It's like of the only time you see this background in this whole it game, too. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. Uniquely made no, for this conversation. No. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Hard to say. <laughs> Have you seen the textures? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot right in front of her. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. W wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Hell yeah, you could go. GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? This is a dude with a toilet inside his house. You know how rare that is? So that high schooler left school early and Didn't even dig it himself. Street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. Yeah, thank God they didn't the change those. The fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? It's how we get to my house? Are we passing by? Huh, I should have figured that had happened. <laughs> I do yeah, live possible. around the corner. I told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. Because I'm not going to be really there. to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, 
How long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean? It was Would you believe me if I said no? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Wait, we're going to Juness? All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor? Let's that was the plan? We literally got told to go home. You guys are bad news. We decided to head away from the crime scene. Weird. Weird choice. What? I can explore? Yeah, the flowers are definitely new. I remember them looking like that. emergency with the police mean that you have to go back to work. I guess because they want to clear the streets. And you're staying out here to bludge. Apparently Japan's trying to implement more laws to encourage workplaces to be a four-day work week. Of all countries? That is incredible to me. I assume based solely on the fact that nobody's having babies. Yeah, really. Either last year or the year before they added laws where, um, uh, like lights out laws, where at a certain time of day you have to turn the lights off to try and encourage workers to go home. Because the, the home work ratio is so ba bad. And uh, people were just turning the lights back on. <laughs> They'd walk over to the switch, turn it off because they're legally mandated, and then just turn it back on again and keep working. <laughs> so to encourage population growth, they are looking at four-day work weeks based on the European model of it being more efficient anyway. We have an early visit with Fox? I disagree. I have very important business here. How dare you. I'm gonna have to catch a big fucking fish again. You can't even buy drinks. Oh, I just really wanted to shut this down. But yeah, Becky and I was like, well, if there was ever a way for us to try and live in Japan, this is it. Let's be hello. We're carrying a new citizen for you. We come bearing gifts. And those cowards don't want to go to Ju- in death. Damn it. I'm going to take a wild guess and say there's nothing to do, but, uh, just in case. Trust nothing. Don't even talk to me about the tons of fish that live in this river. Particularly the size of them. I'm kind of surprised they didn't seem to shove at least one secret in here to walk around.
gonna buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner. Ooh, am I gonna get to make a garden next to my house? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Chuckle. Empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. So far, it seems like we're gonna get a motorbike. Probably gonna park it there where that silver one is. And, uh... Make a veggie garden. Harry's gonna show up. Make me some sick potatoes. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Probably, friend. I'll be right back. Lane cat out. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> the one time when I have to press a button and it's not just dialogue for 20 minutes? Here we find. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems the local TV station's announcer was found dead in the Yasagami High School campus. What did I miss? This is so important. Her fellow local councilman's secretary has been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. I go in roofs. Could have been me. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Why does Juness need to spend Every this much on advertising when they're clearly a monopoly in town and shutting everybody else down? Sing with it. Memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. I force everyone to have a competition at it. And beat them mercilessly if they get a song a sound wrong. I'm genuinely curious what uh, dungeons look like. To be fair, him speeding along like that kind of earned. Maybe you should help him. You decide not to, though. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. <laughs> McNeil, yeah. Up. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? Eh, your bike's worth more. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Hell yeah, put me on the handlebars. Treat me like E.T. 
I wanted to watch us caress each other. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. Since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honoured? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that aren't curious about the murder that are curious. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently, and somehow your knowledge increased. Maybe he's a better teacher than we give him credit for. You just seem at his worst. So, you getting used to this place? I've had to run around it twice for no gain, so yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain... Something you can't get anywhere else. Yeah, the air can't even clean, play darts with a catchy. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about oh hell yeah! Huh? If I knew food was involved, no I'd help you out of a bin every day. My trial of the dragon. <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? What's in Yukiko's trial of the dragon? I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. What terrible reason. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I mean, you can just not eat and then you're spending the same amount of money. Watch us enjoy ourselves. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! But they have these fantastic pictures of food. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still. That's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my well, dad this place to sucks balls. It, so our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. None of us used our straws. We just drank straight through the lid. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, yeah, to be fair, you uh, don't want into a lot of knives or armor yet. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Oh, she stands out. She must be another party member that I'll see for the rest of the game. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business. Well, those shoes do not look good for doing here? any kind of exercise. You're not wrong. <sighs> Madam, those seem very heavy. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Of talking to you. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Is that a boy that isn't you? Peace. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. For good reason. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. So it doesn't bother a me. Good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. 
Yeah, he's annoying. That's not true. He's a great guy. He actually done anything to annoy me so far. I wouldn't call him great. He's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you had me going there, Senpai. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. Oh, uh, Senpai? Want me food? I just let him have a bin. Pretty good net gain. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So oh, if this was a modern game, he'd want her exactly treating him like a brother. Liquor store. Specifically a stepbrother. Of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen, and they say hey, that- Chia is full on 100% at everything. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Because we're children. Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out. She'd go even higher if Wait, she you could. You even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last like the base time I level. heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> and again, I mean, she's a teenage girl. You Makes sense. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor at the Midnight Channel. I can't imagine this will lead to anything. But you should try it out anyway. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Eh, I don't think she's worried. No, he always says he will. Let's oh, me down just like he home. did with mom. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No, you're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about what happened yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you Inaba an Rabbit's also just an SMT with the demon. Who found Miss Yamano's body? <sighs> an it's Alice's kid. bunny that she tortures. <laughs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Female students' face and voice are indistinct. You feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? Yeah, the guy who no, doesn't have to be a bird. Not really. We heard Could that be you a found it when you small ninja-like girl that wears pink and hangs out with Edward. To take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki, Yosuke Senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. 
Many store owners are raising concerns about and we here at Inabaniza are thrilled about it. If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers After funds an entire are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at Remember Juness. back in the day? Like in 2008 Every when the bad guys were the ones saying to defund the police? Genius. Hey, Dad. Wow, can the things we go to together sometime? <laughs> no? He seems to be asleep. Jeez. I'll carry in my arms. Like a baby child. Make sure not to wake him. And if he does wake up, he'll just pretend to be asleep. It's cuter that way. Damn it, Nanako. <laughs> my name looks even dumber there. So that's a very nice yellow and orange. Uh, please, all caps. How dare you. Raining outside and almost midnight. Could Chie's story be true? Probably. I kind of forgot that P4 makes 5 look like doom with how long it takes to get into anything happening. <laughs> A lot of setup. Nearly the Yosuke making me fight in the liquor store. Kinda. Hey, mod. How you going, dude? Are you okay? Just a concussion. Okay. Well, good night. It's a new game plus. Does he ask for their number? Is that what you're saying? Nanako seems to return to her room. What has happened? You decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I know that I watched the P4 anime at some point, couldn't tell you anything about it. Sorry. Never watched the 5 one. She forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I don't have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? Aha, do tell what the person it showed. 
Never mind, I'll save him when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Yeah, I ran like twice. Uh, um. It's kind of awkward to bring this up with now, but we're pretty close here. I'm gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. I ain't running, fuck you. Uh, are you Thanks. sure? If you say so, then I get. I guess it's okay. Thanks. Come on. No, oh, that was nice. Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowels to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows of a ford. Hope we can all enjoy the prof profundity of history together. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. To Mr. Yeah. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditional believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. It's time. It's time to start the old persona notes again. Oh boy, do I have any blank paper in this book? I do. Western calendar equals Anno Domini brackets Jesus. What is the year before 1 AD called? I don't think that there's a year zero. I'm gonna go with 1 BC. Good, good. Uh, 1 year BC was year B4. Now we're playing Persona. I thought the gameplay would take way long to get to this point, but nope. It really does jump you right in. An hour, ten minutes? If you think that history is like math, zero AD would be the natural assumption. But word history is much more complicated and stupid. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why when counting backwards we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. Did I need to write that other stuff down? Yeah. I don't remember how mean they are with those things. May as well, it's the best part of the game. Gregorian. Calendar. Based. On. Julian. No notion of the zero. Explanation is wrong. What's the real one? What's up with the body being hung upside down? Before Super it's Jesus? So freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki. So BSJ found stands for? Oh, Swiss Junior. Yo. Um. Well, they're due in December, it's, uh, so it's not really that important. Technically, but, this would well, be one on TV, I, uh... AD. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll the due tell date you later. is December fourth. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. Becky's mom's birthday. That's birth why day. she looked so down. Which is weird. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? 
Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. Hey, Ozdi I'm sorry. Ozdil? I'm gonna go with Ozdil. Hey again, dude. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed right, out? Let's not rule it out. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, <laughs> did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl, but my soulmate's a girl. I'm well, how about you, dude? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing brown. her school uniform. Brown, like and... an 80 year old. Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? You told them about what happened last night and why you have a severe head injury. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh! That reminds me, our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV! Oh yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out definitely on the way Definitely these days. We're beefing up our electronics department this month. You are not wrong, oh, my friend. Definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? Yeah, it's a shame that Yosuke broke We've them. got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> They don't believe you at all. You go to find new friends. Hey, Reyna. How you going, dude? And to Ness, electronics department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Yeah, I'm going well. Who buy something like this? Getting hassled by my cat. Rich folks? Honestly, I can't complain too much. Not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Look at that beautiful HD texture on that TV. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia. What kind of TV are you guys in the market for? I like for? that the picture is just they undulating in the background. You got any suggestions? The true salesmanship. <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... I mean, giving it a display unit's kind of a hookup. With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Surely not. Oh my. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Something very right. Is his arm... In the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of Are you right there, Pamela? new model? L like with a, a new function? That's Hell no. Click by eh, not that thick. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Our TV oh, we got when the PS4 real. came That's out. It's probably man. about that size. So how's it work, huh? What's it makes it a secret? bitch to try and get the HDMI into the back of it. You have to really squeeze your hand between the wall. Oh, there's a free old thank you, chat. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't notice it. Oh my god! Picking up my slack. It is a persona game, I should have been on my toes. What do you mean inside? Oops. It is very spacious in here. What 
do you mean spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all We need Kanji to show up. Really kick go. this for your old counter into gear. Customers, they're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Look, wait! Whoa! I didn't see the Reze. I saw all the uh, anchor singers. He's very popular, it turns out. Yeah, there goes our spines. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are And it's so thin it didn't break my fall at all. What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no it isn't. I mean we fell through a TV. Actually, uh what is going on here? Oh, you didn't like their slide whistles? Or the crunching of their bones? Oh, I forgot uh, entirely about this scene. We're still alive, right? This has to happen. There's so much setup that happens. Jesus Christ. Eh, worry about your friends. Doesn't matter where we are. Ooh! I think my butt's cracked now. Hell yeah. Uh, Free understanding. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What As McNeil now? stares into my Let's soul. Wet your pants. No, stupid. Look around. Is yeah. this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no, but man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? <laughs> it's up to you. What would you like to do? Yeah, let's look around. Huh? B but look. We need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I oh. don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Never tell anybody to calm down. Seek yeah, a way out. An exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. Like we're in a ship that's sinking. All right. We'll be fine. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but. You know, Trevi, ever seen a toddler trapped, put their so head in between some bars? Our fingers and look around. Get trapped in there easy. There's another cat harassing me at the window. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but seems there's no choice for now but to continue onwards. And leave Chie behind in the fog. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down? It's a long time to check that. It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? What a normal room. Oh, wait. It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further Looks we like go. Mr. Hole Punch has been here. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? 
room. Fuck you and your room. I gotta let it out Not even in the corner. Just in the middle of the wall here. like an animal. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Go in the closet. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. <laughs> Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces what's are all What's with this cut. urinal? Someone must Please really right. hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Is that Come not on. how you get Let's dressed go back in the morning? To where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Well, well you must be the culprit then. Let's go! I'm sick of this place, and I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. It's probably just a bladder infection. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there! She said that just as my cat started screaming at the window. <laughs> just a big old meow happened behind me. It's like, whoa, what's that? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? A sexual predator? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked. Well, what are you? You want to fight? The, don't yell at me like that. I'll uh, go get my cat. Maybe you'd be better ask him nicely. Well, I'll ask him nicely first and then go get him. Ah, uh, place seems the most important. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! <laughs> they were talking that entire time. Tremendous. <laughs> Attention shoppers. What a video game. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area. If Persona 4 wasn't actually very excellent, the it would be the dumbest game. Pick for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight. All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late. <sighs> I mean, Teddy Looks also like kind of has nubs for arms. A while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. 
I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something so Reze, about that's a hedgehog. her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I assume the penguins are telling each other to chill out, and that's a cool more. TV. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down. Away from and the rest. penguins. Hey, welcome home. Wait, you live here? Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Um, hmm, he would already know that. I guess this would be news to him. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Yeah, that panda in the background is a reference to Makoto. She hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow. And the leaks over the in front of the panda are a reference to Miku. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. <laughs> the ordeal their being a divorce. First rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. It's a uh, weird reason to want to go see. somewhere. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. To me, the that seems like a good reason to, to avoid it. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. <laughs> it's the only one in the region, Jin. This is all you got in seven channels. <clears throat> it seems the whereabouts of Saki Kanishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. It is for us, Nanako. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you I get bet her hands and died. For a shame. You should get to bed after you take Speaking of heavy fog, I now know why the cat wanted to come in so much. Boy, did it rain a fair bit last night. He was bone dry, but... Everything else is very wet. <laughs> Oh, I do have Morgana here. I have human mum this time instead of cat mum telling me to go to sleep. Oh, look at that timing. In game time on fire. Mori 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 Ocho She has both of her hands. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. The Jima left the house probably for several days. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. Do 
You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? Everyone lives by the new police station. Total Town is tiny. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. Sure am. Couldn't stream it otherwise. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course Kinda not. Maniac what is that Vito? rumor for real? I don't know, but Two it's like a lot of people have seen it. We're up past more than one an hour, hell yeah. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, nothing. but I'm not going to. <laughs> Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. When I was a child in World War One, I, I saw many deaths. Konishi of Class Three, you'll all get over this. Passed away. Passed away. <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school Don't to knock on me. Facts. Good students don't s tell things to the cops. All right, please quiet down. Especially about we're growing in the greenhouse. The faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So Despite Mr. Maruka's say, best efforts. Not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? I uh, know, Chie, but it wasn't bullying, which is all that matters. The principal's address continues. In other news, tacos are half price today. We got a good deal on them. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown. Oh, hey, Rize. Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Didn't think I'd hear you so soon. Way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Does that mean that girl's a isn't succubus? That scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Yeah, pretty sure that girl's a succubus. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was I think there's no pain, mistaking it. And then... She disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV <gasps> die? As the trumpets sure. slowly fade it's up in the fantastic. background. <laughs> I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? Nah. 
So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? lives with the police. Eh, yeah, Yosuke might be right on this on one. The announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting it's not for you. a true cheer staying right here. Yosuke has asked you to take him to the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Bail. Go with Yosuke. Stop Yosuke. Let Chie decide. And she clearly doesn't want to decide. Eh, fuck it. Let's go with him. You serious? He would do it without us anyway. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. I wonder if I'm missing out on all these free stat points. Yes, I'd like to save all the things that I have accomplished. <laughs> you guys oh, it's came. time to find out how the golf club works. Stop you, idiot. At 60 Come FPS. On. You really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once. This right? is playing the game, Dim. Didn't we'll you see like again. 30 minutes Maybe ago when I got to answer a question in class? Look. I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about when you? I just ate a banana? Did you just walk away? This is playing P4. Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. I got golf club, sword, and medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! Luckily, Chie has the grip strength of eight mountain gorillas. And that I didn't need my retinas anymore. Oh, so bright. Probably should put like a ladder or something there. Is this? Look, this is the same place as last time. Top notch sand so they are connected from place to place. <laughs> they had to remake it. You guys. So they could add those in. You come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most yeah, suspicious. Yeah, Yosuke kind of forced me in. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Uh, hell no. What are you talking about?
talking well, about I'm convinced. people in. If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, Sounds correct they to me. would die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here in the Are you just case we can believe the mystical the bear case. beast? What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? That is yeah, not how one-way doors we work. We need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. It doesn't work that way. Prove to us See? that we are. So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better Imagine answer if Teddy our had like this isn't like last Super time HD textures. We're dead serious. Like Sonic Listen the movie. Because people have died in our world. What a nightmare Every time that'd a fog be. Appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog That may lifts. be the most cursed That's mashup anybody's ever thought violent. of, Jim. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Okay. I told you and told you we're not You've the ones doing me. it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying... <laughs> You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? I can't imagine that Dejima like would be any better at doing his job than Teddy is. Here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. <laughs> Run that by me again? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe yeah, you're if they had the any real... faith in Dejima, oh, they would just throw him in the TV costume. and be like, hey. Break the case time open. You showed your face. It's got a zip, Whoa. you monster. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Smile. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> Okay. Never an option. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits, but I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'll haunt your dreams. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... I'll have to tidy it up. <laughs> What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this and weeping uncontrollably. It's only outside throwing people into this world. The culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Bully him until he lets us go. 
Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. I would in fact call Teddy a misfortune. Will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that was thrust upon us? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Wish the round boy me? over until he lets you out. Thank you! Damn bear. Time Let's put Yosuke the inside the heads, costume. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? For fits Bring one on. human boy, why not two? We got two? my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy. <laughs> Figures. Uh, anybody touching to the, the person that has the ability place? to go into the TV and oh, go in with them? But I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? I mean the person who came in and. And once you allow them time. in, they can go in whenever they want. Name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should. You put bestow these the on. ability on anybody else that you touch, as well as touching a TV. What are these glasses for? Ooh. Your vision becomes much clearer. Well, the difference is like. And no longer day. looks like an N64 game. These on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well. I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. Yeah. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? Thanks, Teddy. Can Teddy really not fight? Push the bear. Yes. No! Bully him like a large turtle. Is this thing for real? Uh, Three for so reals. Lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Wait! No, no, no. Our job's done. What is this place? Do you fight here? It looks just like the shopping district. Or do you come back the next What's day? What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Oh. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hide if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes <laughs> it any is sense. Persona 5, yeah. This is our shopping district. Just need Anne to start dancing Saki on those telephone wires. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! Oh. I had a feeling they were going to attack! Huh? Uh... One last anime for the road. That was in the original too, it would have been even faster. This game made me walk around twice. I well, let me walk around twice. Thou art I. <laughs> the time has come. Open thine eyes and call. No, I added 20 minutes on. 
I synced up. One fifty three is correct. So every MC is. Very excited to murder demons with their own demon. Never not stoked. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff the out and see what good. works. And this music's still sick. We're gonna need to go look at a video of P4 regulars as a comparison. I know this is a lot crisper. <laughs> and yeah, just running at 60 makes it look so much smoother. Congratulations, Sensei! Two soul drops? Whoa! And an achievement? Hell yeah. <laughs> McNeil, yeah, has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcome his hardships. The persona is an Agi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I bet Teddy just immediately there. falls in love I can't with you. I believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude. You call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> Sorry. And he's a good judge well, of character. Your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Voices begin to echo from oh, somewhere. The nest would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales Sounds like it's a good thing that she's working there if her family's business is suffering. They don't have to pay her. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome Brings an outside giant. income. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on. And even here, then, barely. We'll find out ourselves. Not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. 
Yeah, the fact that he has a promo of this really just shows how bad of a businessman he is. never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? And see why his liquor store is failing. These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? Is that a legit no save point before the boss? This is a scrap I of paper with a photo of Yosuke sitting next to, to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. It's okay, Saki. I'll do it for you. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. Give me about a hundred hours he to do so. Completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What did P4 Vanilla get me? Eighty-nine. Pain. Shorter than I thought it was. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Hey, Draco, how you going, dude? Case? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. Understandable. What are you saying? That's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. To steal Stop my it. shoes. <laughs> you always wanted a second pair. I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because. I am Imagine you. how bad their internet is, Margo. You just because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, going to go explore a big mystery thing a pretty reasonable to me. And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's and in this version, Yosuke just you. accepts this. Screw that! I don't know you! Dang. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Really had a lot of faith in him just then. <laughs> You're not me. Can I forgot that this is just me? one giant cutscene even with a fight in the middle of it. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. Man, getting killed in game over here would uh, be real shit. It's Frog from Chrono Tree. I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Out of the way. Wasn't that bad? 29 with a weakness this. this one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. 
and choose to defend yourself rather than attack. Select like guard from battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and stats ailments, and stats ailments cannot be blocked. Can be blocked, I assume is what I just said. It looks like the enemy is about to let loose with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you leave the defensive stance after being hit once. I do not remember Raku Kaja being a thing, but sure. That I go. Yeah. Nice damage, idiot. Oh. Well, I guess I won't bother to do that again. Did not save me particularly much. Don't underestimate me. Can and will. Nineteen. Okay, maybe it did help a little bit. Never mind, I probably should have seen it as well. Here comes an attack! Defend yourself! Out of the way! Persona! Persona! In the ass! Get out of my face! Soda. Sixty-nine. He's dead in three. Maybe Don't two more. Me. He cut close there. Oh, such hurt. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. You're getting to be a real pain. Alright, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got! Out of the way! I'd rather you didn't. Zanagi! Big crits. Dang it. That's not gonna work! Neither is that, friend. Persona! What a well-fought victory. Easy game. Oh. Congratulations, Sensei! I got a whole two levels from it. Thanks, man. I... I... Yosuke. Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. There, Yosuke, we just went through from this. You, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. And my friend will beat its ass again. It's weird, during Rido all its music did was remind me of P4, but now the P4 music just reminds me of Rido. <laughs> they are so similar. Everyone's not the same inside. Brave. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit There's plenty of game left. Me. They might have added a new Berserk in there. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. So it's kind of weird that the every SMT game is ending with games that are other versions of ones I've already played. This so I can actually kind of compare times already. 
getting a head start on it. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep Even down inside. Even seems so sure for Persona 4. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. That's okay, Yosuke. I already realized that you were a pain in the ass. If you weren't here. I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. McNeil. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows We got into that first host. fight before the two-hour mark. So that's why people By the time the boss dies, two world. hours twenty. <sighs> Again, what an incredible game. Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Until Let's we come back, back and get that spanner. Just reach behind you for a sec, Ted. Got an important item to find. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district... Yeah, whole like two games earlier than I said before, I would. Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is... Way ahead of schedule. Did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before, but that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The world killed them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamana no, 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 lady we were don't thrown need in here, to and since they couldn't get out, they wandered this. around. After a while, it's fine. that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. One could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping and a how? close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, sure not. Why not? This be the case. We need to find the culprit. We won't know unless we try. Eh, seems to be the case. Anyways, I Teddy lied to us. to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? Has my head come off without the zipper being opened? If shadows are born from opened. humans. What was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this it world, a variant that they kidnapped I don't know anything about Ted. myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? God, I hope not. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. I want to meet up with Yosuke, Ted, but I you as well. in from somewhere else but then you won't end up here you might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you then you'd be doomed got it well pretty much all right can you show us the way out not at all Roger that. 
One exit coming right up. And fix the problem yet. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! So close. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little. Ugh! Two letters off. I hate you. Remember her? She's still here. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The, the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! So I just sat in front of the TV on my knees for the last 20 minutes. You hate us so much, why do you care that we're alive? I I think that might have kinda sort of been our fault. I mean, our Maybe fault. we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. You sleep well, friend. I've got fishing to go do. If you don't mind me, just be on my way. In a floodplain while walking here from Juness, we fish. Hmm? Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Was it errand to sit here um, on this picnic table? Because otherwise they'd be are very you disappointed. Getting used to your new town in school? I like it here. The murders, the people. Really? It feels but like home, you know. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> How often does she kick things with you? I'm getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know. It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, She gave you the extra push going. to make you a truant? To make tomorrow's arrangements Chie, you monster. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> Not if I see you first. Dad's late. I can actually see what's going on in the our TV next story ads is now. An update in our ongoing it's like lotion or something. Bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here. I'll be okay. Can you help me I'm used to it. around the house? Way, way too used to it. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known She's to travel lot, surprising everything here distances seems ancient. in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko's on TV wearing a in kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. 
Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, we know the answer well, to that. You're terrible reporters. Like temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. Creepy. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Also creepy. Huh? No, um... How old are these people? Yukiko's a child and everybody talking to her is a full ask adult. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Nanako's like... I don't know, seven I'm gonna say. Probably around seven. You decided to help out with the housework. Yeah, it also helps that I can reach the sink. Damn you, fridge. We really need to use these leaks. They're gonna go off. Alright. We've finished the, for the most part, preamble for the game. So we'll start proper tomorrow. Just a short stream today, because like I said, gotta make a cake. It is a uh, work made of Becky's birthday today. So I'm going to do that for it. And we should have a regular big stream tonight. I would assume at least 10 hours. Yeah, bye everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time.